Today, on the Super Brick Building Channel, I'm going to make a minecart go across the water with no bridge. Like this. It's easy and lots of fun. So, let's get started. Before we start this video, make sure to click the subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. And let me know in the comments if you've seen this before, because I haven't. And let's get started. First, we're going to go into our inventory and get all the types of rails. We're going to get a regular rail, we're going to get the powered rail, the detector rail, and the activator rail. Now we're going to go and get a redstone torch to power it all up. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to place down a few rails here, maybe about three. And I'm going to go get some, another block because I forgot to get the block. I'll choose smooth stone, place it right here, and I placed a power rail here too for the start. Place a button so you get in, you can press the button and move on. I also have these power rails right here that I needed power. And we're just going to go up to here, and then we're going to build a little thing out of sand to make us jump into the water. And then we're going to put some more power rails on top of it. So now that we're getting the powered rails on top, if you notice right here, I put the rail down, but it's not powered and there's no place to put a redstone torch next to it. You'll have to put a lever there instead. Now let's test this thing out. The start works. Now we're going to go into our inventory and we're going to get a minecart, not bromine, a minecart. And we're going to place it down so it's ready for testing. Go over here and a few blocks under the water. Where the minecart lands, we're going to go in our inventory, get some soul sand, and let's see, we're going to put it down under the water so the minecart will fall onto the soul sand bubbles. And now we have it so soul sand goes all the way to the island. Now after we're done with that, we're going to put a minecart rail slightly under the water, we're going to power the rails. So let's build the minecart rails up a little, see if it works. Let's go over here, hop in the minecart, press the button, go down here, jump, whoa, oh, we're going back up again, up and down, up and down, bouncing on the water. Let's see if it lands correctly. Yes, it did. Wow, that was pretty fun. If you like this, go and like that video real quick. Let's keep on building. Build some powered rails all the way to the other side of the island, making sure it goes down into the water a little bit. We're going to build another little soul sand bridge, break that block, and build it all the way across to a new island. So now, just going to finish our little bubble bridge, making sure it connects up to the island, break a few blocks because we didn't, wouldn't really work. Break these blocks, put some soul sand here, we're going to break this block, gonna put a rail here, the water washed it away, put it here, we're going to build it onto the island, making sure to power it. Now I'm going to go and build these rails across the island, and if we see here, this island doesn't really line up with that island, so I'm going to show you a little trick that I used to turn. So I'm just going to build it all the way across, making sure to power it. Go over here, this isn't powered, let's put a torch here, that doesn't work. Let's put a torch here, that does work. So now we're going to test this thing out. Over to the jump, you already know this thing works. Look how happy his face is, he really likes it. So we know this side works, let's see if this side works too. Oh, up and down, so the start works. Let's see if it connects to the island. It's pretty fun, bouncing up and down like this, going across the water with no bridge. I think the jump is even funner though. Up here, oh, it works. So yes, it works. Let's build down a rail here, and we're going to go build another little soul sand bridge over this coral reef. And as I said earlier in the video, the soul sand doesn't quite line up with the island, and I am right about that. So we're going to put a rail here, and we're going to just build a little bridge over to the island. Now we're going to 
power this power rail. Put another power rail here. Put some rails here. Oops, I forgot power rails can't turn, so we'll put a regular rail there instead. Now we're gonna put a sand here to power the rails with a redstone torch. Put it right here. Should power both of the rails and build the rails across the island. Notice that this rail isn't powered, so I'll put a redstone torch here. Now we're gonna just go and we're gonna build another bubble bridge right here over to land. Now that we're at land, break this block and we're gonna go actually put sand here, put a rail here, I'm gonna build it up, power the rails. Now I'm gonna go put some power rails here. Now I'm gonna put an activator rail here. Power it with a redstone torch. And I'm going to put some soul sand here. So let's fly over to the start here. And we're going to test this thing out. I'm going to go over to the start. Go press the button. Let's test this thing out. We'll speed this part up until we get to the turn because we don't know if that works. Okay, let's see if it works. Oh no, the turn doesn't work. Hmm, I wonder why it doesn't work. I'm going to do something that I did with the other endings of the bridges and I put the rail back down under the water and we're going to test the thing out. Okay, let's see if it works. See if the dip rail works. I think it doesn't work because soul sand is too slow so I changed out for another block to show you what I changed. So I'm going to run back to the start, test this thing out, speed it up because we know what happens here. So let's see if this thing works. Yep, it does. And over here, to the little soul sand. And, hmm, it's really slow. But I didn't dip this in uh, under to the soul sand. And when it dips under, it makes you bounce up and down. And when you bounce up and down at Minecraft, you're faster. And I'm going to take this soul sand and I'm going to put it a block down. Because I think if the soul sand is down one more block, it will be a lot faster. So now let's go test this thing out. And let's see. I'll test it out from here because it's kind of annoying to have to go all the way back to the start and try it out again. So let's see. It works. And we're bouncing up and down. It's really, really fun. So let's see what happens at the end when I put the activator rail there. Activator rails that when you ride over them and they're powered, they will launch you out of the minecart. So let's head over to the start. And if we go over here, I have a little surprise for you. And it's a little redstone contraption. I call it a slime block launcher. Also, I have another video that shows you how to make one of these. There's a link in the description or at the end of the video that will show you how to make one of these for yourself. So go ahead and click that link. So the slime block launcher basically. What happens is you roll in, it launches you up, and then it launches you straight out into the water. The slime block launcher is a lot of fun. So I'm going to just go place a minecart, press the button, and I'll show you what it looks like. And as I said, it bounces up and launches your minecart out into the water. And as I said, it's a lot of fun, and I'm going to just go break these blocks because they're not very necessary. So I'm going to show you what this slime block launcher looks like with a few different camera angles. Here's the first person camera angle, and here is a, another camera angle, here's a face view. Here's the entire roller coaster, sped it up because I have another surprise for you. So here we go, we're going to go over here. And I'm going to show you a little trick you can do. If you go into your inventory and you can type in any spawn egg for, for mine. I did a wandering trader. And if you spawn it right next to the minecart, you should go into the minecart. And I think the wandering trader is funny because he has llamas too. Which will be dragged along when he is pulled with the minecart. So you can do this with any mobs, which I did it with a cow, and 
as I showed early in the video, I have a little villager, and here's the villager right here. And this is another way to get your villagers away if it has bad trades instead of pouring lava on it. And there you go. Well, thanks again for watching this super brick building video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you like this video. And don't forget to click right here to watch a video on how to make the slime block launcher. Goodbye.